So the U.S. and China, are we entering into a Cold War, or how long has one actually existed? Joining me now, Gordon Chang, author of The Coming Collapse of China. All right, uh, you know, this, this to me is really fascinating. And, and the case she's talking about there with the, from Jeff Sessions involved Micron technology. The stock is up two bucks. And I read uh, earlier this year the detailed report of how they, they met with the, uh, the, the worker and how they in, uh, seduced them to working for them. And it's, it's amazing how, how blatant this has been. Like they, they've just been blatantly doing this for a long time. Yes, yeah, since the 1980s. You know, the big story here, yeah, the Chinese have been stealing U.S. intellectual property, hundreds of billions of dollars a year. That's awful. But the point is, we've allowed them to do that, Charles, because we've had administrations, Republicans and Democrats, who have not placed very much of a priority on stopping this Chinese cyber theft. Only until you get to, you know, a few years ago, where we actually thinking about this stuff, and only until the Trump administration have you had an American president do something effective about it. And that, by the way, are the tariffs. Uh, you know, and I like that, but I also like the, the string of indictments that we're having, because I, I really don't remember any headlines where Chinese uh, nationals or Americans were working as spies. And I want to share with the audience, because it's almost like a spy novel, folks, how they go about this, the, the five steps that they use for recruiting these spies. It takes you back to the Cold War with Russia. First, they spot you, right? Then they assess whether this person will be a good spy. Then they develop them, recruit them, and finally, when they recruit them, they start to handle them. And this happens over and over again. And I guess to your point, they've been doing it so much and so out in the open that there's, there hasn't been any fear. Yeah, I think the critical line from the Attorney General Sessions was violating our sovereignty. We've allowed Chinese agents on U.S. Soils to do, soil to do all sorts of things, including stealing our stuff. But we've allowed Chinese agents to intimidate American citizens or American residents, all sorts of things. And this has been going on for a very long time. And the Chinese think, oh, yes, of course we can do this because previous administrations led us. Now you have an attorney general and you've got a president who are saying, no, I'm not going to allow this to occur anymore. And that's a really important step. Charles, we have a lot to do. But nonetheless, we've made that pivot, that intellectual pivot, that we're going to do something to, pre to protect ourselves. Uh, earlier today, President Trump tweeting uh, that uh, he had a, a pretty good conversation with, uh, with the ch China's president. Uh, and we have it right there on the screen. Uh, the discussion is moving along nicely. The meeting is scheduled at the G20 in Argentina. Uh, also had a good discussion on, on North Korea. Uh, you know, sometimes this negotiating out in public, uh, it, it has a lot of, it serves multiple purposes what do you see there? Because I know we're playing hardball with China. President Trump, though, always respectful with respect to President Xi. Yeah, well, he's been doing this for quite some time. In public, all the conversation is very pleasant. And to a certain extent, you've got to do that. But also, you know, behind the scenes, this administration is disentangling. We're disengaging from China. And I think it's because the administration realized you can't change China. China's doing things which are just inimical. You know, they are going after our economy. Um, and this is critical for our national security, as well as for other things. So I think the administration said, look, we can't change China, but what we are going to do is something something effective, which is get the supply chains out of China so we're not held hostage to Beijing's theft and other predatory tactics. So then how will this resolve itself? I think it's going to take a very long time. And the reason is that Xi Jinping has no way to back down. He owns this crisis with the United States. He has deinstitutionalized the Communist Party, which means there are no more rules to protect him anymore, right. which means if he loses, he's going to lose not just power. And so for him, he's going to take China over the cliff with him.